before we start the video i want to know what are the four big companies which are termed as the big four please comment your answer without googling it and uh, at the end of the video i will answer what are uh, those big four companies hello techies welcome back to the channel my name is krishna i am a etl data warehouse big data tester and bi tester so today's video is going to be about how to set up a database and how to import the data insert the data and then work on the queries of fetching the data and uh, writing a lot of sql scripts so let's get started with the video let's go to the screen and let's get started with the video how do you download and how to set up a database okay let's go to the screen and let's see uh, how we are going to download dbuer and then install dbuer and set up our database so as to uh, start our uh, query process and so that we can learn sql properly so let's go this is i'm using microsoft edge and i'll download dbuer i'll go to the dbuer community page and download dbuer so Save it and then when the download is complete. We'll start the installation process. The download is complete. I'm opening the file from here. So this window will open and I'll click on run and then I'll keep everything as default. Next, I agree for me as say SQL files because all the SQL files if you want to open in dbviewer, so just click this option. Next, install dbviewer. be very careful on some of the settings where i will tell you and if that setting is not used properly then we may end up uh, doing something wrong so your database will not come and then you will not be able to practice so click on finish now oh, that this is installed so i'll go ahead and open dbviewer after dbviewer is installed so you can go to databases new database connection and choose sklite next just type the path as what do we want just type local host or whatever you want just click on finish go to tables then right click and create new table so you can do it like this or or you can open a skill editor open a skill script which will be running on this local host so here choose local host when you're running so so here are the script that i have provided here are the scripts that i'm going to provide please check the linkedin article which i have put all the uh, all these ddl scripts and the dml scripts and uh, the link to the uh, linkedin article is there in the description box please copy these script so i have written this table department table and employee table and if required you can create the bonus table and the salary table in front of you i'll create all the tables and also import the data i have the dml so import the data into those tables and that will help you to get the data and then you can start your select query you can use the query language select and uh, practice all your queries so let's get started so i'm creating the department table first so what you can do is I will copy all these DDL commands. So I have put them in comments. I'll remove these comments. So I'll go here. So the easiest trick to run on dbviewer is control and enter. The moment I complete this query, so I can be in this query anywhere, but I should have a semicolon. So in this, just anywhere I run. So here the table is created, this table, department table is created. So if I go here and I refresh this, then I can see here tables. I have the department table created. I'll go and do the same with the employee table. So to, to not create confusion, I will delete the other ones and just create the employee table. I can go here, I can do this and then I can run this. I can run the whole script here. If you see, Control Enter is the shortcut key. I can run, 
and this table is created if i go here and then refresh employee table is created i'll get rid of the employee table also now i have the bonus table and the salary table so i'll do the same with the bonus table run this table this is created run the salary table this is created i'll refresh this and i see all the four tables are there in my database so if i see local host is the database and these tables are there in this database so going forward i will copy these dml scripts the insert into the department table so this is the department table insert so i see uh, here if i see in the department table i don't have any data so i will take all these values and here if you see ex execute script so i will click on the execute script and when i run this all the four records are created and i can verify that select star from dpt these four records are there in the department table so similarly as i created the department table and inserted the values similarly i will copy these to the employee table and i'm here i have copied all the dmls and i'll just run all these as execute script so let me check this the data is loaded so i have 14 records loaded so if you want let me i am going to delete this now if you see there is no data so let me run this again a script so all the potent records is loaded let me do click start from here. yes all the 14 records is loaded so i have loaded the data for employee table also let me do the same for cell grade so i'll go ahead and cell grade and remove these comments copy all this run and yes copy it so let me check select star from cell grade so i have the data so let me check star from emp s data is there select star from dpt s data is there select star from cell grade yes data is there so all the three tables data is there if i run this script script i'll see i'll get see like this three different tabs for three different queries Because there are three semicolons at three different tabs in DBR. So all the three tables data is loaded, and if required, you want to load data into the bonus table. Also, you can do the same. All the script that I am using, all the script will be available. So don't forget to commit after loading the data. So now, when after the data is loaded into these tables, so what you can do, you can play around with your queries. So where dpt number equal to 10 this is what i get and salary is greater than 1000 salary is not equal to 5000 and practice the join so if you see select star from emp here i have this department number and if you see select star from dpt you have the department number so department number if you can see it is a primary key in the department table and a foreign key in the employee table so you can play around with join set operators and lot of things so this free sql uh, database is created in uh, dbviewer so how to install dbviewer and then how to get sql lite sql lite will be already installed so what you can do is just go into this database new database connection go sql lite next and just type in anything let me do one test and finish one more database is created here so you can play around with lot of databases creating databases and then creating lot of tables practice around set operators joins and sub queries and whatever you want you can practice so if you like the video please click the like button and then please share the video with all the uh, test engineers all the data engineers who are learn practicing and trying to learn sql and also 
if you are willing to learn uh, testing in hindi so i uh, i have opened a new channel please check the description box and please subscribe to the channel uh, which uh, i'm going to upload videos from february onward so please subscribe to the channel and stay tuned regularly on thursday uh, videos will be coming on this channel and uh, i'll try to uh, regularly post videos on hindi channel also mostly i'll start from february and regularly i'll be posting videos most of the videos will be little different whereas technical videos will be same uh, that will be in hindi and in english so stay tuned and please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and don't forget to follow me on instagram and linkedin so see you next week um, with an amazing video as per my promise at the end i would like to say the big four companies are here are the big four companies thank you for watching the video see you and bye bye